to Tony Northeastern and I uh, hope you're all keeping safe and well but before we get into uh, this week's video um, I just want to like to mention the great electric train show um, and for everybody that I met um, Saturday and Sunday um, yeah, it, it was a great show. I mean, it was like a who's who of YouTube, YouTubers. Um, to be honest, I mean, we had um, Graeme Falston there, Rob McCann from Far and Low. We had uh, Peter, Peter Dixon, Old Man the Shed. <laughs> and we had uh, John from Exhaven Harbour, along with Kevin from Peninsula Medway, hope I got that right, <laughs> and lots of others including Gary from Cheeky Tech, Paul and Paris from um, Smallwood Junction, and uh, also Steve from Catton Park, it was good to see you again, um, and also Steve from Town Dock 5AB, it was great catching up with you Steve, we had a really good chat uh, uh, Saturday afternoon um, yeah and there was Robert Trains and he was there we had a, <laughs> shared a cup of tea together we had a good half hours in Chinwag um, Susanna was there uh, I didn't get a chance to speak to Susanna uh, that much but hopefully we'll catch up uh, some other time um, Julian from Station Road it was great to meet you at long last um, Stephen from Heritage Railway boy that was a good meeting uh, we enjoyed uh, our conversations we had together so yeah it, it was great all round um, there was Mav from Maverick uh, the, the, the list is endless it was it was good it was, it was a good meet um, what did I come away with? I didn't come away with a lot. I came away with uh, a sound decoder for my 9F, so that 9F that I bought recently will actually have some sound, which I've um, always wanted to do with that. It's just add some sound, because it seems a bit quiet when it's running around the layout. Um, yes, who else was there from Gits? Oh, I haven't forgotten anybody. <laughs> Because there was just so many of us there, it was just um, amazing, uh, amazing event. It got a bit crowded though. Um, I, I will, I will give give you that. Yeah, especially uh, Sunday. Sunday it was just absolutely packed. Oh, I forgot to mention Lord Al and the Lavi. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will do something with that, uh, Alan. Um, I have big plans for your little lav, but I have to find somewhere to put it on the layout. <laughs> yeah, um, oh yeah, it was just endless. I met Charlie Bishop, we had a good long chat. Um, and loads of others, loads of others. So yeah, it was, it was good fun. I enjoyed that part of it. Um, as for seeing the layouts, well, like I said, it was pretty crowded. So I don't know why they don't keep the doors open longer if they knew that they were going to get so many people there. But hey-ho, it is what it is. It was a great show. So, let's get back to what we uh, come up here for. A week or so ago I bought this Intelligence HD recorder. Because um, I've always wanted to run a train... Um, the camera in front of it so you get the view as it runs along the tracks um, I got this off of one of those um, advertising sites that you get with your YouTube's videos so I clicked on it and bought one and here it is um, I'm not sure how good the quality is because I haven't tried it yet um, it's got a swivel end camera as you can see there's a little tiny dot in the middle so I'm not hoping for great things with this camera as you can see so that um, camera there can go up and down 90 degrees uh, we can clip it on your shirt because there's the clip 
and it's also got a magnet on the top. It's supposed to be Wi-Fi connectable, so I'm not sure about that. I've done a little couple of little test shots with it just so I can get a hang of how to use it. And there's a little SD memory card in there. Um, this can record up to 30 minutes, so it says, but uh, I've not tried it out yet. Um, as for the company, I, I've got no idea who manufactures this camera, because this is all I've got in the box. Um, as you can see, it's quite plain. It's got Chinese writing on one side and English on the other. Um, so here's some of the specs. Storage support with a TF TF card, and dimensions and uh, what have you. Um, it just gives you the instructions there and tells you what all the buttons are for there on that one. But um, yeah, there's no um, manufacturer's name on this. Um, so yeah. So we shall give it a try and see what kind of footage we get from it. First of all, I have to mount it on a truck. Um, I bumped into a YouTuber called Newlin. Sorry, Newlin. Is it Newlin Junction? I forgot your name, mate. Um, I know. <laughs> he said, "Well, what you need is a bolster wagon, which will give you." good balance for a camera you want shouldn't get too much jerking movement as you do with some some video so we'll give this a try so I'll sort of set it up on there as you can see I've got a couple of bits of blue tag so I can put the camera that way or if I wanted to I can put the camera that way for the reverse journey so we'll see how this pans out and um, I'll let you know what I think Bit of a change to the bolster wagon. I put some weight 
into the center of the wagon um, because uh, some of the crossovers because it was being pushed this seems to be derailing so I've sorted that out so enjoy your run up to South Shield
Right, so here we are. We've made it to South Shields, and um, and it kind of went up the Stevenson's bank without a hitch. And uh, what we'll do, we'll swap the uh, diesel engine around to the front, and we'll do the reverse journey.
Right, before we talk about the camera, let's go into what I have done to this bolster wagon. Um, what I've done is I've added a weight on the bottom um, just to give it a lot, little bit more stability because uh, on some of the crossover as it's being pushed because it's um, light uh, even with the camera on it um, it just kept coming off um, some of the points so I've, I've sorted that out and I'll put the blue tack in the center so the camera stays in the center and it just keeps it balanced I think if I used a four wheel um, vehicle I think it would have just bounced all over the place and at least with this you get a little bit more um, stabilization in the picture well that's what I thought anyway anyway getting back to this intelligent camera um, it's, it's not very good you, you get about 40 seconds worth of footage and then it cuts out and then it starts again um, it is it is what it is it was a cheap cheap thing that I, that I bought um, and, and there's no way I can enhance the footage I'm sure there's better cameras than this out there uh, for doing what I'm, I always wanted to do and that is to show the layout from trackside um, instead of me filming shots um, uh, from above if as, as it were anyway so that this uh, video was just a little bit of a trial and error um, it, but I uh, hope it um, gives you guys some ideas on how to film the layout from trackside um, if you hear of any better cameras than that just um, let me know in the comments and uh, until next time everybody enjoy your model railways bye for now bye